Hey guys and welcome back. In this video, we shall see how to quickly pay the credit card bill of ICICI Bank credit card using the iMobile app. So this is the application that I'm going to use. If you have not downloaded this application, then you can quickly open up the App Store or the Play Store and then just look for ICICI Pace Credit Card. This is the easiest way to search for the app or you can search for the app by the name. The name of the app is iMobile Pay by ICICI Bank. And do make sure that this app is by the ICICI Bank Limited that you can see from here. And then you can install the app and register on the app using the details of your credit card. And also for the pre-existing users, it's always a good practice to open up the app after you have updated it. So if there's any pending update, you can update the app and then just open it up so after opening up the app if you have turned on the sign in feature using your face id or touch id then you're good to go you can just use your touch id to quickly sign in into the application now after you have signed in the credit card number will be shown in case if you are having more than one credit card then they will be displayed here like this you can look for the credit cards in my case, I just have one credit card here, so I'm just going to use it. And also, you can tap here on my cards to see the available credit cards that you have. For me, I just have one credit card, so I'm just going to select this one. All right. Now, from here, you can see all the details that you want to see, like the current outstanding balance, available credit limit and also the total credit limit that was allocated to you by the bank and uh, this is the information that we are looking for that is the last bill details so the payment is due by 30th may 2023 minimum due is 2550 and the last bill due is 5851 and uh, if you are still not confident about the bill or the payment that you have to make then you can tap here on the statements and you can check out the current statement but the current statement is the statement which is going to be generated once current month is over so you can just tap on back and then tap here instead that says last statement now this last statement is the statement that you are going to pay for So there are many ways to make the payment either you can tap here which says pay bill or you can tap here which says pay bill you can view the statement before paying the bill so I'll just start the payment so I'll just tap here which says pay bill now it's going to ask how much you want to pay current outstanding it's 8628 but this is the last bill which means when I received my bill this was the total outstanding and this was the minimum due at the time of receiving the statement and after receiving the statement I have made many more purchases because of that my current outstanding has increased but nevertheless I don't have to worry about it I still have one month to take care of that so I'll just pay the full amount which was in my last statement so in my last statement I was billed for 5851 so I'll make this full payment. If you are short on cash, then instead of making the minimum due, I'll suggest you to open your statement and convert your big transactions into EMI so that you don't attract too much of interest. But for the time being, if you just want to make the payment and get over with it, then you can use the minimum due also. And then once you are done with it, you just tap here, which says continue. Now you have to select your payment option so here the payment options refer to the name of the banks so i'm just going to select my bank that is state bank of india then tap on pay now so it's going to open the internet banking of the bank that you have chosen it does not give you the option to pay through upi or debit cards it will directly open up the internet banking of the selected bank then you have to use personal banking and then you have to enter your user id and password 
Now, once you have successfully logged in into your SBI internet banking, then it's going to ask for the account from which the payment has to be made. In case if you are having many account in the SBI, then those accounts will be displayed here. And from there, you can choose the account from which you want to make the payment. For my case, I just have one account. So it's already selected. And after that, if I just scroll down, then I can see the payment details. So I'm going to make the payment for 5,851. All right, so everything is fine. I'll just tap on confirm. It says, dear customer, congratulations. You are eligible for pre-approved online debit card. Anyways, it's not relevant for this video. So I have received the OTP also. So once you have received the OTP, you just have to enter the OTP and confirm the payment. After that, your payment will be confirmed and you will return back to the ICICI bank credit card app. And there you will get a message like this, which says transaction initiated and the payment will reflect in your ICICI bank credit card account within three days subject to clearance. So usually it takes two to three days for my case. Also, once I make the payment, it usually takes two or three days to reflect in my credit card account. So that's all for this video. This is the way how to make payment for your ICICI bank credit card. So don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.